he would have had to pay that money or he would have gotten harmed again. And it doesn't matter which wing you go on, people or inmates know people on other wings and all they've got to do is pay somebody to go and harm them. It happens all the time in the prison system. But like I've mentioned, Ian Watkins, he's got that much money on the outside. I'm not sure how he's getting to his funds, but he'll have someone that he must trust on the outside that's taking care of his funds and they'll be sending money to wherever it is needed so he can fund his habit and get protected. Because if you imagine someone like him who's high profile in prison, he's going to be a target anyway for what he's in for. But because he's got a lot of money, he'll also become a target. So he'll probably be having it with some of the bigger lads on the wing. And then again, these bigger lads, they might be in for S offences themselves. Because just because they're an S offender doesn't mean that they're going to be like a small, weak person. Your typical S offender, what people have their own judgment of or what they might look like. There is some big VPs kicking about inside the prison system. So he's obviously going to the likes of these for protection. And they're the ones that are protecting him to keep him safe from getting harmed because he's paying the money. And like I've mentioned earlier on in the video, they're thinking of money over morals. But they've probably got no morals themselves if they're in for the similar type of offence. It's just the fact that they're the bigger ones and they're the ones that's got the pull and they're the ones that's got access to these illicit items that they're supplying to Watkins. But the likes of E.M. Watkins, if he does get moved to another establishment, he will be in fear of his life because of what he's in for, because he's high profile, and because the other prisoners be wanting to get a name for themselves, saying that they're the ones that's getting a hold of the likes of Ian Watkins. Same goes for any other high-profile inmate. They will be watching the backs throughout the sentence because they will become under attack at some point in the sentence. It's just what happens inside the prison system. And uh, I'll be doing more videos on other high-profile inmates soon. So if you are wanting to watch it, remember, hit that notification button so you won't miss another video. But I will be uploading more soon, people. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. But I am going to be doing a video on Ian Hudley, Levi Belfield and Wayne Cousins. These are living together inside Franklin Prison on Air Wing. So I'm going to do a video all about them and about what's going on with them at the minute. Because just about every one of them that I've mentioned has been attacked at some point throughout the sentence. That was the name. It was David Fuller, the Morgue Monster. He's the other one that they're all living together in Franklin Prison, which is also become, become known as Monster Mansion. Even though Wakefield is Monster Mansion, Franklin Prison, as you can imagine, all of them ones that I've just mentioned are absolute monsters for what they've actually done and what they're in for. So we'll be doing a video on that soon, people. So keep an eye out. And if you are enjoying the content, Remember to comment and like. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.